today is departure day. We're in Yellowknife. It's just after 4 a.m. It's cold. It's about 4 degrees. And uh, we're on our first flight. Just got dropped off at the airport uh, by the cab. And yeah, in, well, it's 4 a.m. Probably by like noon or 1 o'clock, we'll be uh, sitting on moonshine. And as you think about the weeks ahead, what are you most excited about or looking forward to? Um, well, I'm looking forward to not getting up at 3 o'clock <laughs> tomorrow in the morning. But, uh, yeah, just getting back on the boat. And it's going to be a good sleep tonight. Lots of good sleeps with uh, being back on the boat. And, yeah, I'm going to miss being up here, but that's the price you got to pay if you want to go sailing. Still floating. Yep, nice. <laughs> we made it. What do you think? <laughs> Beautiful Prince Rupert. <laughs> so it looks like you're back in a familiar place. Back on moonshine. <laughs> it's been a long day. It is. I don't know what time it is. 12.30? Oh, almost almost 12. Noon. And we've been up since 2.30 uh, a.m. BC time. So, if we were to correct it. But we're back in Prince Rupert. We're on the boat. And uh, it's a little bit dirty just on the decks. The canvas is a bit dirty, but not too bad. And... Uh, I forgot my key to get in, <laughs> so my friend who's been watching it, uh, the boat, he's uh, got the key, uh, a key, and he's uh, going to bring it by, so we need to get good the... Good thing we're friends. Yes, good thing we still have friends here. <laughs> and we need to get the boat cover off. It's supposed to rain today, so we may do that right now. It's all dry. So we'll get that done right away, and then uh, get that folded up, and then at least the boat cover's off. And we don't have to worry about uh, it getting wet and having to dry it out somehow. So, yeah. And how was the trip here? Oh, the trip here was good. We left yeah, really early up. We were up at 3.30 local time in Yellowknife uh, a.m. Got to the airport. Uh, then we took two flights. The first flight was to Vancouver. Second flight was from Vancouver to Prince Rupert. And then in Prince Rupert you land on an island just across the harbor and then you get on a bus. The bus drives you to the edge of the island. You get on a ferry on the bus. The ferry takes you across uh, the harbor to Prince Rupert and then it drops you off in town. And then our friends uh, Brent and Joan were nice enough to pick us up because we had a bit of luggage <laughs> and we have more stuff now because we brought some things for people and some things to cook with and like flour uh, and other things that we'll consume we even had frozen fish I think that we brought so the bag was pretty one of the bags was really heavy the checked bag but uh, it'll be lighter on the way home hopefully yeah, and it's really nice to be back. I can't believe I'm sitting on moonshine. 
this is, uh, you know, when you're overtired and you think, is this really happening? But yeah, it is. We're here. And it doesn't look too bad. I haven't been downstairs yet, but my friend Max, who actually bought a CNC 32, and they did the uh, winter cruise with us where we rafted up uh, at the end of the season there in uh, Met near Metlakatla. We, there's a couple episodes that show that. And yeah, so Max has been watching the boat uh, once a week, comes down, checks everything. So I can't imagine there's any issues down below. And it'll be just a, a few days that we're going to be here. It'll be a flurry of getting things ready, getting things cleaned up, putting the sail. Uh, the main sail is still on. I have to get the head sail on. And yeah, run the engine. I might do an oil change. Just uh, there's a lot of things that need to get done in the next three days. Or today's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, so three days. We have three days to uh, get the boat ready. And then we're on our way. 500 miles plus down to Vancouver. The weather doesn't look good for the next few days. <laughs> Windy and wet, but we'll manage. Yeah, welcome to Prince Rupert. <laughs> it's uh, it's been a busy day with getting all kinds of things done on the boat. Started with just removing the boat cover and going down below and getting the all the systems done, uh, like seacocks open, checking the refrigeration. Uh, making sure the holding tank works and the macerator pump works, switching out the blank plug for the uh, depth sounder and speed transducer, checking what sail I want to put up for the head sail, um, getting the dinghy off the boat. So it's been really busy, so we haven't done much filming. And it started to rain, so now we're inside and Devlin's been really busy too. She's been checking all the food that's on the boat. Uh, what's expired. I don't think there was too much that was expired, but a few things. Uh, so making lists of what we have, what we brought, what we still need. Stopped by my old work, said hi to a few people. And we're getting tired now. It's the end of the day. We're gonna have dinner. And I think uh, probably go to bed early after that. So I got the V berth all cleared out, bedding's all done, and looking forward to an early night's sleep. How does it feel to be back on the boat? Oh, this is where I belong. <laughs> Yellowknife is awesome. North of 60 is amazing. And I'm not saying that we wouldn't stay there forever because there's anything wrong with it up there but we really love the coast and if you had to put them side by side we need to be on the coast on the water um, so we'll we'll make the most of north of 60 for the next uh, two and a half ish years and see as much as we can get the most of the experience but i think we'll end up back on the coast and a lot of people are asking uh, already what's going to happen to Moonshine once we make the trek down to Vancouver. And uh, we're not going to sell her. That's been a question uh, by some people. We're going to keep her in Vancouver and it's a two, and two, two hour flight. It was two hours and six minutes from Yellowknife to Vancouver. So we're going to keep Moonshine in Vancouver. 
and uh, use her as much as possible over the next two and a half years. So, yeah, that's, that's all I can say about what's going to happen. That's, that's what the plan is. Of course, things can change, um, but that's the plan. So, yeah, but really awesome to be back on the boat. I don't even, the rain doesn't bother me. I, I like, I like being on the coast and on the boat. And uh, I'm excited for uh, a couple more days of getting the boat ready and then starting to uh, head south. <laughs>